So what's the difference between an ND filter and a CPL ND filter? How and when do you use them with your drone? Today, I'm gonna try to answer these questions, but first, we need to find water. If you've never met before, my name is Ra'ed and I'm on YouTube to help you create amazing videos. So ND filters are like glasses for your drone. <laughs> How many times did you hear that sentence? But still, it's true. ND filters reduce the amount of light coming to your camera sensor. The same what glasses do to your eyes. When you put your glasses, it reduces the amount of light coming to your eye. But what about CPL ND filters or circular polarized ND filters? Well, technically there are ND filters but with a twist. There are ND filters with an extra layer that reduces light reflection on shiny surfaces, such as water, glass, or shiny rocks. Water. So this is what it looks like straight out of the combo DJI Mini 2 and Freewell filters. No color corrections added. Try to guess which one is with the regular ND and which one is with the CPL ND. I'm curious if you guys can tell the difference. So if your guess was A, CPL ND filter and B, regular ND filter, you're absolutely right. However, it was obvious that there aren't big differences in these two situations. The first one was when shooting in cloudy conditions. There isn't a lot of reflected light, so there wasn't a major difference here. And the second one is when I place the sun behind the drone. I can barely tell the difference between the two shots. So to get the best results, I recommend shooting at 90 degree angle from the sun. You can see in this shot that the true color of the river popped out. So personally, I would stick to the regular ND filters most of the time. I would use the CPL ND filters when shooting over water or just to intensify a little bit the blue color of the sky. Freewell sent me the all day 8 pack and I've been testing it for over a month now. Freewell gives you the option to choose between a normal ND filter or a CPL ND filter in this pack. So the top row has regular ND filters and a separate CPL filter. And the row in the bottom has the fusion of both worlds. The CPL ND filters are variable. So it means you can change the intensity of the polarized filter before you fly. Okay, so I really recommend calibrate the gimbal after you put the filter on because uh, it's a little bit heavy and you can hear like the motors trying so hard if you can hear them the drone is fine but please don't change your filters while your drone is on that could damage the drone gimbal and if you worry about the CPL filter all you have to do is to keep it at the white mark and if you want to reduce the intensity, just move it away a little bit from uh, that white line. Cut, 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 cut. What? Do you mean do I have to keep turning the drone on and off to put the right ND filter? That's not practical. Mm. Well, if you want to know how to always choose the right ND filter before you take off, all you have to do is to go watch this video right here. This video will teach you how to calculate the right ND filter for the right lighting condition before you even take off. See you next time.